Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash. I would like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom, Waba Rakatham, to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say Shalom. All right, hey, we're getting closer and closer to the end, and we're getting closer and closer to that mark of the beast. Okay, and in this article I'm going to bring out, it's entitled Japan's Banks Going Cashless. Okay, and, and the article, the, the, the title may be a little misleading, but it's just a, a, a part of that process of going from a cashless, excuse me, a, a, a society where we deal with cash, with, with paper money and coins to completely cashless, to, to completely cashless to a digital system where we don't deal with any cash at all. Okay, in this article, it's going to go into how um, these banks over in Japan are um, basically, they're not completely getting rid of cash, but the banks are, uh, are not giving any cash out anymore. They'll give you a, a certificate or a, a, a QR card to go to the ATM to get cash out. But it's just what, it, what, it's what you call gradualism, where um, the banks are, um, the banks are basically gradually moving away from cash. OK, and you got to understand, Japan is the third largest economy in the world behind, um, you know, uh, uh, United States and, and China. OK, so it, it's a it's, hey, things are happening. OK, Esau is moving fast. All right. So if they're if they're getting rid of their money, if they're if they're, the banks aren't dealing with any money anymore, pretty soon they're not going to deal with any paper money at all. All right. And and China is already ahead of the curve when it comes to the cashless society and everything being biometric and everything being digital. OK, because, you know, they're there. I'm pretty sure there's a step right behind Japan in this effort to get rid of cash. And all right. You got to understand these Moabites and these Ammonites over there. Hey, they're all under Esau's uh, um, watch too. Esau's ruling over all of this. Esau's ruling. You know, they 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 they. They have interest in all these other countries, all right, mainly in America, all right, which is their, uh, you know, the, the wickedest of the wicked, okay? But Esau has an agenda to fulfill, and that agenda is to chip the whole world, okay? To, to everyone, all right, take that mark of the beast, everyone to bow down to the beast, this new world order system, okay? So let me get into this article, because um, like I said, everything is about gradualism, all right, with, with these devils. And let me pull up the uh, definition of gradualism real quick. Let me see. It is a policy of gradual reform rather than sudden change or revolution. So something that's going to happen, at, it, it could happen at a, at a slow pace versus every, you know, um, versus um, a sudden change. All right. A sudden, a sudden change and a sudden change is eventually going to happen. OK, but Esau would like to gradually build up to these these changes. All right. Versus um, doing them right away where people will uh will, will be least let likely to accept it all right so let me get into this article it says in an attempt to limit the handling of cash for health and safety reasons due to the pandemic and the res and its resurgence japan's sumitomo mitsu bank along with other financial institutions has gone cashless at its counters using high performance atms which can handle 900 bills at once the uh the bank plans to transform approximately 300 of its 400 domestic branches to cashless branches by fiscal 2022. Or so that shows you this devil is moving fast. OK, if Japan's the third largest economy in the, in the world, it's going to be nothing for, for all these other smaller economies in Europe, Africa, you know, different parts of Asia. All right. If, if they can do this, you know, um, it says um, mid. Mitsuho Bank allows customers to make cash transactions by themselves without going through a bank teller. Shinsi Bank stopped handling cash as a rule in all 25 of its branches, and Azora Bank is working on making 19 of its retail branches cashless. So everyone's going to cashless. Okay. Uh, to bank at a cashless counter, customers inform the teller of the transaction, and once identify is confirmed, identity excuse me is confirmed. Customers show their bank books and cash cards are given a paper slip with a printed QR code that can be that can be read by the ATM when the when the money is either deposited or withdrawn. The transaction is complete. Okay, so in, it, hey, the, I, in the articles, you know, quick and straight to the point. All right, you see what's going on. 
All right. And all of this is being done to lead to that mark of the beast. While everything is going over here in America with the people um, storming the, uh, 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 the Senate building and all that shit, you know, hey, Esau's moving fast. Esau's making shit happen. OK, you got all the banks in Japan going cashless. All right. And in, in the article, like I said, the article may be a little misleading, but that's what they're getting to. Eventually, hey, everything's going to be uh, on your uh, a debit card, credit card, on your mobile device. And then the chip is going to eventually replace all of that. OK, you know, they're going to say, you know, my 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 credit card can be hacked and, and actually it can be hacked. OK, because, you know, um, through a personal experience, my credit card, I have a credit. I had a credit card in my wallet, which I re rarely use. And somehow, some way it was hacked. OK, and I don't I don't even take it out of my damn wallet. All right. Of course, your your mobile phone can be hacked with all your financial cards on there through, you know, Apple Pay and Google Pay and all that. So Esau is going to give you that that solution that can be hacked, even though they're even though I'm pretty sure RFID chip anywhere in your body can be hacked. But they're going to give you present you that present you with that RFID chip. And they're going to say it, it's safe. It's, all right, it's the safest thing that we can pro pro provide you. All right. So let me hop right into the scriptures. Um let me get this. It's the book of uh, Revelations, chapter 12. And, and brother's been bringing this out a lot because hey, we you, we understand what the times that we're living in. All right. And, and it's, it may be repet repetitive, but the most high is all about repetition. OK, so when it's all said and done, you can't say you haven't been warned. You can't say that you didn't know what the what the mark of the beast is. OK, this is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And this devil's moving fast. OK, you got to understand that this devil Esau. All right. Hey, they, they control. They pretty much control the world because the most High gave them their dominion to control the world right now. And they know they got a short time. They know that their dominion. All right. They, they they're reaching those bounds which they cannot pass. All right. Pursuant to uh, was that Job, the fifth chapter. And, and their reign is over. Their time is up. All right. Esau is on borrowed time right now. OK. And, and you know, they it's like it's kind of like similar to Trump leaving office where he, he don't want to leave. All right. Esau doesn't want to leave. Esau doesn't want to give up their rulership. That's why the scriptures say that the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom by force. OK. Um, the next scripture I want to grab uh, is the book of Psalms, chapter 64, because this is all a part of the secret council. All right. These things that are happening are all planned out by the wicked elites on the left hand okay this is psalm 64 and 2 hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked which from from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words all right that's a secret council all right these devils have planned this out for 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 uh 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 tens and twenties and thirties of years of how they're going to do this. And, you know, they feel this is the right time to implement all this stuff, to, to, to push this stuff through. OK, they shoot that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. The perfect is talking about the Israelites, the elect. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. All right, because Esau, like I said, like I always say, the only thing that stands between Esau's new world order, fulfilling that new world order and, and their destruction is the elect. All right. And the elect is not going to take Esau's chip. The elect is not going to bow down to the mark of the beast or this uh, the mark of the beast system. OK, that those are those that cannot be plucked out of the most high's hand. All right. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? And this is nothing but a snare because we know that you need money to, to survive in this economy, in, in, in this world. All right. We know you got to pay your rent and pay, you know, you know, provide for your family. All right. Get gas and, you know, just have the basic necessities. OK, but it's going to come a time where the true sincere men of the Lord are going to have to hey, go without. All right. They, they, they're they not going to be able to pay their rent or their mortgage or provide for their family. But in that day, who's going to provide for them? The Most High. How about Shema Shai is going to make sure his servants. All right. The ones that are diligent and sincere in his truth ha have what they need, are going to have abundance in that day. All right. Let me grab this. Um, this is the book of Daniel, chapter eight and twenty five. And it reads. Um, let's see. Yeah. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, or right, meaning showing his pride, and by peace shall destroy many, and shall 
also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. The prince of princes, that's your Howard shot. OK, but going back to the top of this verse is that he shall short cause craft to prosper in his hand. And that, and that crafty counsel, that craft is this uh, uh, the wicked devices that this devil is going to use to try to get you to take this chip. All right. To try to get you to convert over to this new world order system, this all digital system, this cashless system. OK. And all right. You know, all these other nations, even though they hate Esau, they have no choice but to be down with this new world order. That's why they're following, um, um, you know, they're following through with this agenda. OK, because I think the um, what's the currency of the Japanese yen? All right. It's, it's going to be useless pretty soon. OK, because they're go they can still go get paper cash, but eventually they're going to get rid of cash completely. All right. If the banks is going cashless. All right. And the, and, and the top of the article, they said because of um, it says limit the handling of cash for health and safety reasons. All right. They're going to call. They're going to say it's a it's a, a national health risk. OK, it's a global health risk to handle paper cash. All right. Esau is using this pandemic, you know, in, in, in all in all the ways uh, t to their advantage to forward their uh, wicked uh, uh, New World Order agenda. OK. And everything leads to the chip. Everything leads to the mark of the beast at the end of the day. OK. Um, all this addition and all that stuff that 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 that's going to lead to the mark of the beast also. All right. It's going to lead to people, uh, um, you know, wanting to change. People want to feel secure. And, and you know, it's, it's so many ways, so many angles that Esau is going to come at the people to entice them using smooth words to to get them to take this mark of the beast. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, and I start at verse um, fifteen. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, all right? So that image of the beast is their democracy, their, you know, homosexuality, one world religion, one world currency. That's all a part of that image of the beast. And he calls both all, excuse me, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, that's that, that's that mark is a physical mark. It's the RFID chip. Okay, it can go in, you put it like this, you put the, the chip anywhere in your body, all right, your head, all the way down to your toe, you're through. The Most High is going to destroy you, all right? You have a, a special judgment. You have a specific judgment that, that's, uh, uh, that's coming to you for accepting this devil's mark and, and bowing down to him. All right, verse 17, and he that, excuse me, and that no man might buy, might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, all right? So you won't, you'll be useless in this society, okay? You, you, you know... But like I say, the Most High is going to take care of his elect in that day when that time comes. All right. Those that those men that refuse to uh, take this devil's mark and bow down to their uh, new world order agenda. This this system. OK, this is the consequences for taking that mark of the beast. All right. Because, hey, this consequences to everything you do in the scriptures. All right. It's a judgment for everything you do and everything you don't do. OK, there's a righteous judgment and it, there's a, a all of his righteous judgment. All right. But. You know, you 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 may there's those that's going to be redeemed, there's those that's going to receive salvation, and those that's going to uh, uh, be condemned, all right, for for their wickedness, and then the, and the con condemnation for taking this chip is 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 thermonuclear fire from you know those missiles and from the concentrated fire from those chariots, all right. This is uh, Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead." Or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. That's the wrath from the Yahweh Shai. Okay. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's that concentrated fire. That's those ICBM, the fire from those ICBM missiles. All right. When, when, that's going to end this world's war with America being destroyed. All right. Thus saith the scriptures. OK, so it's like, hey, it's Jake over there in, uh, in, in Japan. Israel scattered throughout the four winds of the world. So it's, hey, it's Israelites over there that that that, uh, you know, are, are a, that Esau's coming down to, on also. That's going to be presented eventually with that mark of the beast. That's that's uh, um, that's going through this uh, um, throwing, going through this cashless uh, um, transition right now. OK, and if they don't got this truth and they don't know what the hell is going on, they're going to go right along with it and be destroyed also. OK, so, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect and hey, we almost out of here. Esau's moving fast. 
okay? And, and, and they're not wasting time, all right? They, they, they're they trying to cross all, you know, dot all their I's and cross all their T's, all right? So that's why we have to be alert and be circumspect at all times and understand that, you know, this, hey, this devil ain't playing no games, but the Most High, for those that diligently, diligently search and seek him, the Most High got us. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.